Hello everyone and welcome to another Diecast Emporium unboxing and review video. In this video, as you can tell from the title, we are going to be taking a look at the second mix of 2022 Matchbox Rio working rigs. This is the case that they come in. If we're counting case letters, I presume this would be the P case. It contains eight models inside. This mix has three different models, so hopefully with it containing eight, we will get at least two of each inside. So let's not waste any more time and get this case cracked open. Again, as I said, I have no idea what the assortment looks like inside this case. I am just hoping and will be very happy if there are at least two of each of the uh, three new models that are inside here. So, opening it up, taking a look down inside. Well, it looks like there are two of these, two of these, and three of these, and there's an extra one of those, which is on top. So we have three of these, three of these, and then two of those. So we are good. Let's take a look at the first two out of the case. We have the New Holland bi-directional tractor uh, in the same livery that we have seen it several times already. That is the standard New Holland uh, blue and yellow stripe that we've seen for a number of years. This is actually quite a functional and pretty cool model in my opinion. I will show you what this does uh, when we get to the second part of this video, when we take a look at the functionality. But there is the card, what it looks like. Again, this is number 16 of 16. And you can see a picture of the rendered version of the real vehicle on the card itself. As for on the back, it just has copyright 2021 CNH Industrial America LLC. It has the New Holland logo, and it shows you the functionality that you can see with the bucket arm of the loader mechanism on this tractor. So we know already that there are three of those. So here's the second one, and here is... Well, we'll get the third one out when we get to the bottom, because obviously we don't want to create a model avalanche here. Second vehicle out of the case, we have the International MV box truck. Again, we saw this at the end of last year, but this is a new livery for it. Uh, cargo couriers. Again, we'll take a closer look at it. The working feature on this is that the back doors open and the lift gate goes up and down. All three of these castings are licensed. They are real vehicles in the real world. Again, very nice to see. None of these are Matchbox Originals. Here's the second one of those. This one is 6 of 16. And you can see the card has the international logo on it. Here's the back showing you the functionality of the doors opening. And as I just mentioned and alluded to earlier, the up and down lift gate. And the last model out of the box. Again, there are three of these. And it could be argued that since the other two are doubles in recent real working rigs history, this is probably the one that most people will be excited about. This is the GMC T8500, so the T8500. This is a scissor lift or an airport truck, call it what you will. These are designed to load planes. And Matchbox has a snacks and beverages city best livery on this truck. Obviously, this has a working scissor lift, and this part of it, where people would transfer material from the truck to plane, this extends out as well. Look at the top right corner of the card. It has GM official up here, and this is number 3 of 16. So in this case, you have 16 of 16, uh, 6 of 16, and 3 of 16 if you're keeping track. And here's what the back of the card looks like as well. To round out the assortment, so you can see everything that is in the box... There's the second scissor lift, the third New Holland bi-directional tractor loader, and the final GMC scissor lift truck. That's the unboxing and taking a look at the models on the card. When we come back, we will open one of each of these and take a much closer look at the castings and take a look at the details. Okay, very quickly before we get to unboxing the new models out of this case, I did want to show you the other versions and other colors of these models that I have in my collection. This is the same, basically the same, blue New Holland bi-directional tractor that you will see me unbox. So we will be comparing these side by side to see if there are any color differences or deco differences. And then here is the second one that I have. This is more of a inverse color scheme with 
yellow being the predominant color with accented with some blue decals. Also, I only have one of the uh, International Durastar box trucks because I believe that there's only been one other one done to date. This was a new release for 2021. So here it is in the Speedy Express livery. Memory serves me right, I think we saw this truck in two different mixes last year, although they were the same livery, essentially, in both mixes. So that is the other version of that. Okay, this is the second mix of Real Working Rigs for 2022. What did we get in the first mix? You can take a look at that video right now in the top right corner of your screen, but for those that just want a quick review and recap, we had the Pierce Aerial Platform Ladder Truck, in the black over red with white stripes, seen here. Always an extremely popular release in casting. Everybody loves this rear-mounted aerial ladder truck. We also got a returning favorite, which was the GMC green bucket truck, seen here, with working outriggers and a working ladder, obviously, or a working bucket cherry picker truck. And it also dumps in the back with a working tailgate. So a lot of working features on this rear working rig. Kind of takes you back, you know, 10, 15 years to when the rear working rigs really got their start. And uh, it seemed, at least in my opinion back then, that they had a whole lot more working features than they even have today. All right, third in that mix, we have a lot of people's favorite, myself included, even though I feel like this casting has been beat to death over the past couple of years. This is the attenuator truck in the same orange casting release that we saw it in its debut a few years ago. And last but not least, we saw the front loader refuse or garbage truck, again with a uh, supplied dumpster that you can load into the back of the truck. All right, enough with review. Let's get cracking on the new stuff. Again, you can pick up this new case from my friends at jcardiecast.com. That's where I got mine from. Let's begin with the bi-directional tractor, since most of us have already seen that. Here's a quick glimpse at the card. Let's get it open. My opinion, I think this is a pretty neat casting. Uh, the machine in the real world is very popular in the farming, agricultural sector, and even, to some extent, in the construction sector. The whole idea of a bi-directional tractor is you can have the implements, some implements on the rear, some implements on the front, but in this configuration, you can't do it on this model because there aren't mounting pegs on the front, but on the real version in the real world, you can have the loader mechanism mounted on the front, so you, obviously you can change direction, whatever suits you best for that particular application. As far as, to my naked eye anyway, I can't really immediately tell. This is the new version, this is the old version. I can't really tell an obvious difference, even in color shade. So for as near as makes no difference, I would say that they are one in the same. But if you didn't get the original one in OEM uh, New Holland colors, here's an opportunity to pick one up. You have the hubs that are black in the front and white in the rear. It will articulate as you can see, and it does have a decent loader functionality. Your arms will go up. It is a two-piece section here, and your bucket has a full range of motion. So you can have a cut angle, you can have a curl back angle, and you can load it into a truck, for example. And there you go. Quite a functional real working rig and a personal favorite of mine. In terms of those adult collectors that like to pick these up and pair them scale-wise, there's no scale listed on this, but if I had to guess, my educated guess would be that this is actually closer to 164 scale and not 187 scale, which a lot of these toolings are much more closer to HO, which is 187 scale than 164 scale. This one in particular, though, based on the ones I've seen in the real world, I would definitely pick this up if you're into 164 scale farm tractors. It is much closer to that than it is HO scale. All right, next one. Let's unbox the International MV, the box truck, this time in the Cargo Couriers logo. We have seen this before. Let's get it open. Again, this is the second release for this. Gotta say, I kind of like this version better. 
it's certainly more appealing aesthetically with the yellow cab and then the white box. Speaking of, the cab is die cast, the box itself is plastic. But what I want you to pay attention to, and hopefully this is coming across very clearly on camera, is there's actually bolt detail on the sides of the plastic box. So it does give it some depth and some pretty decent detail and realism to it. Headlights on the front, a chrome bumper. There's even some casted in mirrors, although they do not have a silver surface. That's easily fixed, of course, if you have a reflective silver paint pen, which is what I like to do to my models. As for the working features, let's lift the tailgate down now. So here you can put it up if it's level with the, the end of, let's say, a bay of a building, or if you want to have it next to a forklift loading something out. But if you want to have it on ground level, you can also achieve that as seen here. That's not all this thing can do. Let's go ahead and open the rear doors. And you can do that as well. Although, at least on my model, they are very hesitant to stay open. But once you get them open, they should stay open. And there you go. That's the International Box Truck. All right. Last model in this set, we have the GMC T8500. I call these scissor lifts. They go by a lot of different names. You will typically find these in any airport. Um, if you've ever been to an airport, most of us have, obviously, especially if you're an adult collector watching this channel. Um, and what's really cool is if you want to pick one of these up and you have the... I see it all the time in stores. You have the Matchbox Airport playset. This is a perfect complement to that. Obviously, it's not entirely to scale, but again, these are Matchbox. These aren't exactly scale models. Let's be honest with ourselves. That said, though, it probably would look great with the airport set and a few Skybuster aircraft. All right, so we have the scissor lift extended. The decos look pretty good. I already mentioned those while I was unboxing it. But it bears repeating, you have snacks and beverage, city best. A list of some of the largest cities here in the United States, including Chicago, New York, Los Angeles, Las Vegas, and much more. The GMC logo is on the bottom portion of the windshield. Again, this is a real licensed truck. Although these T8500s, I'm not sure if this vehicle is actually still in production. I think this was canceled a number of years ago. But again, this was a relatively older casting by Matchbox, if memory serves me correct. You can bring this back down, but let's bring it back up just for now so we can see the other working feature. If you look right here, this is where it would extend out to load a plane. So let me move that out now. You got to be careful that you don't overdo it, but with some care and some persuasion, you can get it to load an aircraft if that's something you want to do. So... That's mix two for the 2002 Matchbox, 2002, 2022 Matchbox real working rigs. Gotta say, this is a fantastic mix, if for no other reason than all three toolings have licenses associated with them. So they're all real vehicles. There's no Matchbox originals. Now, in addition, two of them are original and new liveries as well, with the bi-directional tractor, the only one being a repeat that we've seen before. And third, there are multiples of all of these, so chances are, if you don't want to pick up a case for yourself and you're hunting these in the store, because there are multiples of each one of these, you are at least twice as lucky, statistically, or twice as likely, I should say, statistically, to actually find the full set on the pegs. Again, thank you to J Car Diecast for allowing me to pick up a set of these for the sake of this review to show you guys. Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. If you have any comments or questions of your own, please leave them down in the comment section below. Until next time, take care, be well. I'll see you in the next review.